Բժիշկ մոյին լալան ուսումնասիրել է սրտանոթային հիվանդությունների, միջամտական և ինդովասկելոր սրտաբանության ծրագրեր նի որքի Մանդ Սայնաբետ Իզրայել բժիշկական կենտրոնում։ Նա ստացել է ընդհանուր սրտաբանության ինդովասկելոր միջամտությունների էկոկարդիոգրաֆիայի միջուկային սրտաբանության անոթների ուլտրաձայնային հետազոտության RPVI եւ ներքին բժշկության մասնագիտացված վկայական 2016 թվականից բժիշկ Մոյին լալան սրտի եւ անոթների առաջադեմ միջամտությունների կենտրոնի SACVI թիմի անդամ է Hi my name is Dr Lala I am one of the interventional and endovascular cardiologist. I trained in cardiology as well as interventional cardiology and endovascular interventions. Now, endovascular interventions is a very specialized technique to treat arterial and venous disease in a minimally invasive therapy. I primarily train in New York at Mount Sinai Hospital. Then I moved to Los Angeles in 2015. We opened up our center called Center for Advanced Cardiac and Vascular Interventions, which is a primary amputation prevention center at Beverly Hills, as well as in San Fernando Valley area. We primarily work at Cedar Sinai Hospital, as well as Tarzana Medical Center in the Valley, as well as we have surgery center at our both office location, one in Beverly Hills area, right next to Cedar Sinai Hospital, and one in Tarzana area, right next to Tarzana Medical Center. Bjishk Moin Lalan, CACVI, Bjishkakan Kentronum, Limb Salvage and Amputation Prevention Program, Nahadzer Nogne, Ashkatanki Kartajam Ket Hatvatum, Na Arak Zerke Berel, Virtut Neri Perko, Lavaguin Masnageti Bari Hamba. Since we have opened up our amputation prevention center, primarily I see a lot of patients for vascular disease. And mainly we are seeing patients for second or third opinion who were told that their leg cannot be saved or there is no more procedure can be done on them. And what we realized that microvessel intervention are very specialized technique that you have to go to a right person to get your treatment done. Mainly in our field, there are three specialists that treat these kind of problems, vascular problems. We are the endovascular cardiologist. Then there are vascular surgeons who are trained in minimally invasive endovascular techniques, as well as some interventional radiologists who are trained in minimally invasive endovascular techniques. The important aspect that what I see when patient comes to us for second opinion is that sometimes they get treated with the vascular centers, but the physicians are not trained or specialized uh, in particular field. And uh, sometimes treating these diseases ends up not helping them appropriately. And when we take those challenges up, uh we sometimes have to work a little harder to help the patient than before um uh, we advise patient to educate themselves about this disease and educate themselves about who exactly treating the patient what kind of qualification the physician has certification physician has and are they specialized in minimal invasive therapy or not the patient comes to us are mainly with arterial disease and a venous disease Arterial disease is a blockage of the leg arteries. Vein problems are usually the vein which brings blood back from the leg to the heart get dilated or insufficient. Usually the disease process goes as varicose vein or bulky veins in the leg or discoloration of the leg or the leg swelling. Now uh, vascular problems in general we consider it as a circulation problem. The most important thing for a patient to remember is if you have any of these risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, if you are a smoker, if you have a strong family history of cardiovascular disease, or anybody aged more than 55 should get vascular screening. Because earlier you get diagnosed this problem, 
you can prevent a significant amount of problem in the future. The big chunk of the patient what we see is with leg ulcers or wounds in their leg. They're considered as a diabetic wound or non-diabetic patient, smoker also has those kind of wounds. Majority of the patients ends up going to a wound care centers for the wound therapy, which is a very important aspect of the treatment. But what they miss, the major part of the treatment is to make sure the circulation is okay in their leg. Why the wound happen at the first place? Majority of the wound happens in the leg, especially in diabetic patients or smokers are due to circulation problem. So when the circulation problem is not addressed, the wound healing is always slow. When you do not have a blood flow to the open wound, despite of wound care, an excellent, excellent wound care, the healing process always slows down or sometimes it does not heal and patient ends up getting an amputation. Even today in United States, 50% of the patient gets amputation, does not get vascular evaluation, which is a very scary thought if you think about it. Vascular evaluation on patient with an ulcers or a wound can easily save their limb or their legs and their entire quality of life. So it is very important for patients to understand that if you have any kind of symptoms, early screening is very important. If you have a risk factor, early screening is very important. And if you have a wound, that you are going to a wound care physician, please seek help with a vascular specialist to screen your vessels. Make sure your circul circulation is okay to those wounds. Now, treatment aspect of this. Uh, nowadays, majority of the vascular treatments are minimally invasive endovascular therapies. That's why I emphasize, very important that who exactly treating you. The physician must be, should be endovascular specialist, should have a proper training in endovascular therapies because Opening up blockages or putting balloon is a one aspect of the treatment. You still have to take care of your overall disease process of diabetes, high blood pressure or metabolic syndrome all together with the help of physician and yourself with the proper diet and exercise to get rid of the major disease process as well as stay healthy and stay disease free long term. Most of the time, these procedures done in outpatient setting in a minimally invasive therapy. It takes about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do an arterial angiography to evaluate and treat the patient. Similar to that in a venous disease, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for evaluation and treatment for bad veins or varicose vein, what we in general term we talk about. Majority of the time, when we handle the case, our goal is to treat patient as a whole. Procedure is a one aspect of the therapy, as well as we take care of the patient from the beginning of the end. We make sure your diabetes is controlled, we make sure your blood pressure is controlled, make sure medications are appropriate. Because if you do not take care of all the aspects of the therapy, the treatment is still incomplete. And you will not get the maximum benefit out of it. Pizhishk Moin Lalan, Irakanatsrel e hazaravor hajogvats endovascular michamtutyunner, dzerkher u votnathater, phrkelu yev martkants kyanki vorak barelavelu hamar. Na ir hivanneri mot arzanagrel e yerakain hivandutyan axtanishner, voronk sahmanapakum ein martkants nuynisk khangarum ein nrants khaylek. 
ոտկերի ցավերի չատերն են տարապում, պատահում է, որ նաև վերքեր են առաջանում և շակարախտ ունեցողի մոտ դրանք չեն լավանում։ Դա նշանակում է, որ երակների խնդիր ունեք և շատ կարևոր է ստուգել արյան շրջանառությունը։ Դիմեք ենդովասկելոր ոլորտի բորձ վրդվայթ հայտնի բժիշկներ Դոկտոր Մերան Խորսանդի եւ Դոկտոր Մոյին Լալայի գրասենյակները։ Լոս Անջելես եւ Թարզանա քաղաքներում ընդունվում են Մերիքեր եւ այլ ապավագրություններ։ 3.06.2024-8.95-904 սերախոս ամառներով Dr. Moin Lalan մասնագիտացած է այնպիսի միջամտությունների ոլորտում, ինչպիսի են Complex Coronary Intervention, Transradial Coronary Interventions։ Նա կարողանում է կանխարգելել եւ փրկել իր հիվանդների վերջույթները անդամահատումից։ Dr. Moin Lalan իրականացնում է նաեւ կրիտիկական վերջույթների իշեմիայի միջամտություններ, վարիկոս երակների բուժում, transcatheterային aortai փականի փոխարինում։ So vascular problems, major symptoms of the patients are following. Uh, as simple as leg pain or leg cramps to leg edema or leg ulcers or pain while walking pain while doing your during routine activity start seeing discoloration of your leg start seeing varicose vein on your leg spider veins on your leg or start seeing leg feeling colder than usual or your toe or your um, or your feet getting numb or losing sensation majority of the diabetic patient does get diagnosis of diabetic neuropathy but majority of the time those diabetic neuropathy also associated with diabetic vasculopathy that most of the patients are missing they need to go for screening for vascular disease if you have any kind of these symptoms people who are smoker people who have diabetes if they have age 55 and above they all should get screening at least go and see a vascular specialist to make sure you do not have peripheral vascular disease Bijish Moin Lalan rekavarume CACVI bijishkakan kentroni sirti yev anotneri sur yev khronik ivandutyunneri kan kharkelich bijishkutyan bajina na hagortum e hivannerin hishel yev hetevel voroshaki kanonneri voronk karogh en phrkel nranc kyanka so vascular disease screening is mainly contains of first physical examination with the expert physician then they go with what called ankle brachial index they look at the blood pressure of your arm and the blood pressure of your leg and they look at the difference to see if there is circulation problem the most common study we do here is an arterial duplex which is an ultrasonography of your arteries and your veins of your lower extremity or your legs the ultrasonography of your legs takes about 15 to 30 minutes to evaluate one part of the artery and about same time to evaluate the venous system now treatment when we talk about uh, which i mentioned before it's for the arteries mainly when you have a blockage we do angiography which is a minimally invasive endovascular technique we do it in the office with a small needle puncture we inject the dye and look at the flow of your leg and if needs to be it's treated by balloon angioplasty and plus or minus stents as needed in the vein therapy the veins are dilated that needs to be closed or shut down the conservative therapy or we call a normal simple therapy that patient can do is an exercise and bare stockings when those doesn't work patient will require invasive therapy which we go inside the vein and we shut down the vein with doing radio frequency ablation or vena seal which is a particular type of therapy to shut down the vein which takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do the complete procedure now in the artery and the vein segment in the treatment depends on how many blockages you have that kind of sessions you need sometimes one leg requires one angiography or sometime when you have a multiple branches are blocked then you may come back and repeat the procedure in the venous disease 
depends on how many segments you have diseased. Each segment according to the appropriate therapy treated in a session. And if you need more segments to be treated, sometimes we do it in the same scenario. And if it cannot be done, then patient comes back and get another session done to take care of that abnormal segments. CACVI բժշկական կենտրոնի բուժման գլխավոր առանձնահատկություններից է ժամանակակից տեխնոլոգիաների կիրառումը, որոնք հնարավորություն են տալի ոտքի կանգնեսնել հիվաններին շատ արագ եւ այնել առանց ցավի։ So at Center for Advanced Cardiac and Vascular Intervention CACVI the majority of the patient which we see it with severe vascular problems. Uh, most of the patient comes with either leg pain or leg cramps, leg swelling or leg ulcers. We also see a lot of second and third opinion patients who were told either that nothing can be done for their vascular disease or who were told that they need an amputation. The vast majority of the patients are cardiovascular disease patients that we treat. Բժիշկ Մոին Լալան հաղորդում է չհանձնվել։ Ձեր արյունատար անոթները կարող են ապահովել արյան բնականոն շրջանառություն։ Միայն պետք է հիշել այդ ամենի համար անհրաժեշտ է կանխարգելիչ բուժում, որը կարող եք ստանալ CACVI բժշկական կենտրոնում։ At Center for Advanced Cardiac and Vascular Intervention CACVI we are two physicians who are both endovascular board certified, expert in minimally invasive therapy. Also, in our team, we have three physician assistants who help us out around the clinic. We have a robust team of almost 18 employees with our vascular techs, our ultrasound techs, our surgical techs, as well as our medical assistants. CACVI is one of the most advanced vascular center in Los Angeles. We have the most robust and most latest fluoroscopy camera. We use most advanced technologies to treat peripheral vascular disease including laser therapy, atherectomy therapy, rotablator and diamond burr CSI atherectomy and many more process like that. We also have most specialized balloons and wires that has been used to treat peripheral vascular disease. In vein disease, we have the most latest technology available, what we call vein glue in a simple term or vena seal technology, which is the most advanced therapy to treat vein disease at this time. Also, we treat deep vein system Majority of the people who get ablation done and the swelling does not go away, they miss a major part of their venous disease process is a central vein compression. The vein going from the leg inside the belly can have a compression or a blockage. We treat at the highest level with a venography and a venous stenting to, to, ready, uh, to get rid of those blockages and fix patient's problem. Հիցունհինգ տարեկանից բարձր եք, ունեք բարձր քոլեսթրոլ, չեք կարող անում ազատվել ծխախոտի կախվածությունից, ուրեմն նշտապեք փրկել ձեր անոթները, բայց ամենակարևորը ձեր կյանքը։ Սրտի եւ անոթների առաջադեմ միջամտությունների կենտրոնի CACVI բժիշկ Մոին Լալան ձերք է մեկնում ձեզ։ In a vascular disease treatment, the most important message to the patient that I have is that do your homework first. Do not let anyone touch your leg without you check their credentials. Make sure they are all interventionalist and endovascular board certified people who are treating your leg. Make sure they have enough experience to treat vascular disease. Make sure they go through appropriate training to treat vascular disease. Get yourself educated first and go to the right people. We are here at CACVI, board certified endovascular specialist, has been treating vascular problems at the highest level for many years. 
ժամադրության համար զանգահարելուց մեկուտ 9:59-ից 3:52-6744 CACVI Los Angeles եւ Թարզանակ քաղաքներում At CACVI we are the board certified endovascular specialists here to help for any of your vascular needs Ոդկերի ցավերի չատերն են տարապում, պատահում է, որ նաև վերքեր են առաջանում եւ շակարակ տունեցողի մոտ դրանք չեն լավանում։ Դա նշանակում է, որ երակների խնդիր ունեք եւ շատ կարեւոր է ստուգել արյան շրջանառությունը։ Դիմեք Endovascular Volorti Board Certified հայտնի բժիշկներ Dr. Մերան Խորսանդի եւ Dr. Մոյին Լալայի գրասենյակները։ Los Angeles եւ Թարզանա քաղաքներում ընդունվում են Medicare եւ այլ ապահովագրություններ։ 3106 2 27 44 8159504904 սեռախոս ամառներով։